today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the DC Comics Batman Classic TV series, Batman and Robin 2-Pack. Holy High Rise Batman use base on shelf or wall. I like the fact that the two figures are posed inside the box as if they are actually scaling up the side of this uh, high rise building. Um, on the side, artwork from the original um, uh, TV series. On the other side, there's Robin. I don't actually think that is the original artwork. It's just a a very similar, very close reproduction. And then on the back, again, a very similar reproduction. Again, I don't think it's actual uh, taken from the cartoon or the I keep saying cartoon from the the original animated intro. Same bat time, same bat channel, featuring other characters, Batman, the Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin, Catwoman, and Surf's Up Batman. Read Up says, don't be alarmed, good citizen, they're here on official business. Batman and Robin limber up with a climb while on the hunt for Gotham City's fiendish villains, carefully ascending the building as one must never sacrifice safety for speed. The dynamic duo encounters most fascinating people. You'll never know who might pop out of the window to say hello. I always remember Sammy Davis Jr. popping out. Sammy Davis Jr. Rat Pack, you probably a little too young to remember that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to have a better look at the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder Robin. Don't go anywhere. There's definitely more to come. First, having a look at the diorama, or I guess the wall display piece that comes with Batman and Robin. You get yourself, uh, again, a side section to a building. Now, there's a little section at the top here where you can peg this pin it to your wall. Doesn't look like there is any. Oh, actually, I shouldn't say that. There's a section here I suppose you could pin it, a section here that you could uh, mount it if you've got like a little push pin or something like that you put on the wall. Um, I mean, it's all right. There's not too much to say for it other than the fact that one thing, one nice touch, though you would never be able to use it with other characters, is it does have windows that can open. So if you had Batman walking, Batman and Robin walking up the building here, you at least have the windows open. But unless you have on the wall, it's not going to make any sense. You could have it open, but nobody's going to be sticking their head out of it. Uh, both windows do allow you to open them. There are four peg holes, four peg points on the building that you can have Batman and Robin pegged onto it. Batman obviously would be at the top. Robin would be at the bottom. Um, other accessories, technically they did come with a rope, there goes Robin, it came with a rope, but it's not so much a rope as it's just a really, really longer version of the the uh, twist ties that they give you to wrap fi figures into their packages. You know those, like, those recycled, the replacements to the wires that when you mount a figure inside its card, and now they're going with like a, a recycled, more world-friendly alternative. It's just pretty much a longer version of that. It's not even really rope as much as it feels like it's... I don't know, it just feels like it's it's made out of something that... Even like right there, you can see where this will just unravel and become... I don't know what it will become, but likely a mess. But you get a really long piece. It's It's really a shame that we couldn't have not gotten a rope or something, some, even like a plastic cable that they could have had Batman and Robin holding on to. Instead, we get this. This is just a real disappointment. Moving that out of the way. And lastly, the other accessory that Batman comes with is a Batarang. It was featured in Batman's hand when I got him out of package, and he was also holding the rope. I don't know how neither of those really would work, because I'm pretty sure they used the grappling... Um, grapple gun from the Batmobile or Batman if it was high if it wasn't too high he would just throw the batarang up I don't think he would be holding the batarang and holding the rope 
but it looks like there is a section that could put the string on it but again there's a string hole there but no string I'm like looking around I'm looking literally I'm looking on the ground where I've just opened up the package and I don't see a rope I don't see anything um, but needless to say um, Batman does hold it which is obviously a nice a nice touch here you can just put it in his hand it sits really loose in fact, Batman's hands are extremely uh, large that even holding the rope, and I call the, this rope very loosely, um, it, it doesn't even really sit in his hands. Now, they had clear elastics not only having him hold the batarang, but they had clear elastics having them hold the rope. And I would say that probably would have been a good idea to keep those elastics on as this rope is not going to serve any sort of, sort of purpose. It's just so disappointing. It's... As you can see, it just does nothing. It, I mean, having them pegged, you could kind of just have the rope draped into their hand and then just try to pretend like they're actually holding on to it. But it doesn't have that, unfortunately. If they had had a rope, and Spot's going to want to talk too much about this blasted rope, but what they should have really done was given us like a, a pliable, rubber-like plastic rope and then on the very top, there should have been like a little loop that you could pin that to the wall. So you would mount this to the wall, and then you would mount this further up from the wall, so you could actually have it actually you could have it taut, and you could have the Cape Crusaders holding on to it. So even if their peg holes on their feet came loose, they're not going to fall for their fall to their death. At least the rope would serve a true, uh, practical purpose as keeping them from falling to their death. Anyways, having a look at the figures. Now, I think Robin of the two, Robin's the more disappointing figure. He he suffers really badly from, he just doesn't look like Burt Ward. He just doesn't, I mean, he does a little bit, but it's one of those things you really have to look at it and look from a distance and squint. Uh, coupled also with, riddle me this, Batman, when is a superhero like a flagpole? when he's got poles in his cape. Um, because they are, they rely so heavily on this diorama, they serve very little as action figures and more so as a display piece. Because these poles are in their, their, uh, their capes, and there is no section that I can find other than unstitching this seam right here to take the poles out, there is no way to keep, there is no way to actually have these figures without these rods sticking out of their capes. Again, going back to the fact that they're more as a dis at least this two pack serve more as a display piece rather than actual figures you can like I wouldn't put this on my shelf displayed like this because he's got it looks like he's got a kite attached to his back. He's also got something else which I'm surprised they had to put a tag here. It says consisting of plastic coated wire stiffeners, surface washable only. They had to put this big old tag right could they have made this? Maybe they could have made this tag about the size of a business card or envelope. It's really large. So I would say the first thing I would do is take this blasted tag off. You know what? I'll take it off later. I don't want to rip the cape off. But like even on Batman, that cape is extremely visible. Especially on Batman because he has that dark cape. It uh, it doesn't it doesn't blend in as well as Robin's does. But. Uh, Robin's all right. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't look like Burt Ward. The outfit isn't bad. I mean, there's some inconsistencies to probably the plastic, where it seems like his upper torso is a little bit of a different color than the lower torso. It's not by a lot. Uh, his tights obviously make his legs darker than his arms, but his arms are a really dingy, dingy color. In fact, both can be said for Robin's face as well as his arms. They're just of a really dingy plastic. It kind of reminds me of the um, the DC Universe figures. What was it like? Wave nine, probably was like wave seven. It was the chemo wave, where a lot of the figures. Wonder Woman was played with this too, but I remember Black Canary had this really really dark plastic, and it just made the figure look so uh, dingy. Kind of the same problem with Robin. It just kind of makes him look really really dark. Um, also, I think both Batman and Robin suffer from the fact that their their bodies are just way too skinny. They're not the most in shape characters to speak of. I mean, both Batman and Robin were not the actors 
that played them definitely were not in shape. Adam West and Burt Ward were far from being uh, fitness models to say you know to say the least. But it just seems like their their bodies don't seem like they're as beefed up as they should be, uh, especially like in the arms. The arms, I don't know. It just feel I I feel like the arms and the the maybe the limbs on Robin. He just looks a little too lanky. If that makes any sense, Robin should have maybe been just a little bit shorter. That perhaps if they kept the same sort of limbs, it wouldn't have looked so bad. Um, but he does have articulation. They obviously both have quite a bit of articulation. Uh, his head rotates left and right, up and down, not really so much. Uh, his arms go out, forward, back, bend at the elbow. He has a rotation in the bicep. He has a rotation in the hand. He has upper upper torso bend. Nothing from what I can tell in the waist, although it looks like it should be. Uh, there probably is, it's just I can't move it. Um, the legs go forward, back, out, bends at the knee, rotation in the thigh, bend also in the foot. What do I think of Robin? He could have been a lot better. Could have been approached a lot better. Um, on a rating level, I'm going to give Robin only... I'm going to give him a 5.5. Sorry, Robin, I'm going to give you a 5.5. When we get to Batman, on the other hand, Batman's a little bit better. They clearly put a little more interest and effort into Batman's sculpt than they did on Robin. It's not stu it's not fantastic. I was going to say stupendous, but it's not fantastic, but at least it looks a little more like Adam West than Robin looks like Burt, uh, Burt Ward. Um, as a side note, it is nice to see that the Adam West Batman series is now really coming full swing where we're getting, we're eventually going to get a DVD uh, release of the series. Figures are now coming out. Hot toys are going to be coming out with, with uh, uh, Batman and Robin, which I'll be really lucky uh, to pick up. But again, like this figure, he's just all right. Um, the bat symbol is nice and the coloring is good. I like the fact that they've kind of gotten this... It's not glitter, but it's got a several different layers of paint to his uh, to his underbrews, his gloves, underneath, and in his uh, his cowl, and then also in his boots. The cape has a nice touch with the the points, but again, he's got these big rods, and I'm intending to have him climbing up the wall. It kind of just makes the figure look like he's got something sticking out of his cape, and it's just it's a shame. It's a shame. Now, I know the other F Batman figures won't have this problem because they're geared more towards action figures. These are more, these figures, these two two figures here, they're geared specifically for having them on the wall. And without having them on the wall, they're going to look awkward. Um, Batman's articulation, again, would be the same as Robin. Uh, his head rotates left and right, slightly up and down. He does have a slight pivot as well. Arms go out, forward, back. He has a bend in the elbow, rotation in the bicep. He has a rotation in the hand. Upper torso bend. He has the rotation in the waist, although Robin must have had it. He was just really stiff on that figure. Legs go forward, back, out. Rotation in the thigh. Again, bend at the knee. And finally, that hinged foot. Also, it just seems like Batman's awfully proportioned and not by awfully like too much he seems off on the way he's proportioned his legs are really skinny I know Batman didn't have the most fit of legs but it just seems like he's weirdly sculpted I'm interested to know what reference material they used when they were sculpting these figures it just seems like I like the effort and I, as the fanboy to the service of getting finally figures from the the classic Batman series, I want to love the figures. And I'm sure I will love the individual releases of the figures because they probably will have a lot more going for them. This particular two-pack, I just I can't get behind. And it's probably just because of the poll, but I don't know. The execution of the figures just don't seem as spectacular as I was hoping that they were going to be. At least Batman has a good sculpt on the head. And while it may not look 100% like uh, Adam West, it it definitely looks a lot better to being Batman than what Robin looks like. Batman, I'm going to give him... I'm going to give Batman a 7. I'm going to give Batman a 7. Now, as when we get to the actual diorama, again, assuming that this is 
against the wall this way of course you can take Batman and uh, I'm not quite sure a good pose to get him in but I guess it kind of st stands to reason the issue also with Batman is because he doesn't have a bend in the foot not enough. I'm wondering if I can actually even get that secondary foot on. I might have to even do it on an angle. Get that foot on. Peg the other foot. It helps if Spot finds the actual peg hole. And get that pegged into place. Like so. Batman could kind of go up like this. Then you have Robin. I'm actually even trying to think whether Robin did go up first. A big debate, I'm sure, will ensue. And after I do this review, I'm probably going to look online and say, Oh, right, Robin did go up first. Anyways, you can put Robin. For the sake of this review currently, I'm just going to put Robin on. Like so. And going back to my issue with the rope. With the rope. You can take this rope, which again is just crap, but at least Robin's got small enough hands that he can hold the rope a little bit better than Batman. Batman's not going to hold this rope. It's just going to kind of sit in his hands. And then if hopefully all things go well and they're going to stay, oh, I don't know if they're going to stay. No, they're not. No, they're not. You know what? Let's just pause the video. Hold on one second. And once you get Batman and Robin, and it turns out that Robin always was in the front. I don't know. I don't know why I assumed it was Batman, but when you get them all going, and hopefully their pegs stay in place, you can have Batman and Robin uh, moving up the side wall. I mean, it's a nice effect, but I did find getting the two figures on their bases that they didn't always stay on the wall. In fact, um, the pegs did kind of give way, which only gave more reasoning why they probably could have found another way to have the two of them clamped on. Because the last thing you want to do is get them hanging from your wall, and then in the middle of the night you hear poor Robin falling to his death because he wasn't properly clamped onto that peg. Um, the capes work well in the fact that you can, they add that little bit of extra character to the fact that they've got that little, the, the poles going through them. But, I don't know. It, I just feel like the set could have been a little bit better. Maybe I was just expecting a little bit more out of them. I mean, this this is the kind of set where these are perfectly displayed as what you're seeing right now. I would not necessarily display these particular two with the, the capes as they are. I wouldn't display them just on a shelf as is. Uh, for that reason, I probably would get more. I would probably get these singular figures and display them like that um, on the shelf. But Anyways, there you see the two of them on, on the side of the wall. I think Dick Clark also was one of the guest stars, Jerry Lee Lewis. There was a whole ton of them. Not Jerry Lee Lewis. What what was that that guy's name? Jerry Lewis? I don't know. Anyways, anyways, Spot's getting way off topic. Today we're having a look at the Batman and Robin two pack. It's not the it's not the best outing I think for the dynamic duo. Um, but I think it's it's a good start. I probably will stick strictly to singular figures, and as a recommendation, I probably would say go with the singular figures maybe over this set, unless you really want to have them displayed like that, and that is the only reason to uh, to probably get this set. Whether these figures will hold like this, that is another question, but uh, today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the new Batman and Robin 2-pack featuring the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder. And for what it's worth, Robin was in the front. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. Certainly stick around. Spot's got more toy spots heading your way. See you guys next time.